by now you've heard of Apple's take on the digital wallet known as Apple Pay. But with all the data breaches at big box stores, 7 News is asking just how safe really is this new form of payment? 7 News reporter Jennifer Kowaleski tracking down some answers for us. Signing up for Apple Pay is pretty simple. All you have to do is take a picture of your credit card. Then Apple Pay creates and stores what it calls a digital pay token. It will take a picture of it for you, and then it'll do, you know, optical character recognition is what we call it. But it isn't instant. In most cases, you have to verify your card with your bank, which can take up to an hour. What the credit card company then does is send back to Apple a unique identifier. And how safe is it? Steve Beatty is a security engineer. He believes Apple Pay is actually safer than using your traditional credit card. So we've had credit cards that we have magnetic stripes on, and those stripes or strips have long been skimmed, so they never change. What's interesting about the Apple Pay is that every single time you use your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, it sends a different number. Beatty says Apple also never stores your credit card number on the phone, which can be helpful if a retailer's systems are hacked. When a point of sale terminal is compromised, it does the, the thieves no good because they can't reuse those numbers. When you do make a purchase, instead of swiping a credit card, it uses what's called a near-field communication chip inside your phone, prompting you to authorize the sale with a fingerprint. And if you lose or have your phone stolen. So if you go to iCloud, hit the where is my iPhone, you can immediate list, immediately disable all of the credit cards that are associated with a particular um, iPhone. But all of this new technology does come with a cost. And it's a very positive thing for the consumer in general because we have much more secure payment mechanisms. The other side of that is, is that may know more and more about us and our spending habits. Right now, Apple Pay is available at more than 200,000 retailers, including Whole Foods and Walgreens, which isn't much when you consider about 15 million retailers except Visa and MasterCard. So while people may not be ditching their wallets just yet, Beatty says it could happen sooner than we think. We'll be carrying around fewer and fewer traditional credit cards. It is also the case that we'll become more and more reliant on having our phone with us. Jennifer Kovaleski, 7 News. And right now, Apple Pay is only available for the iPhone 6. You also have to download the new iOS 8.01 to get that app.